Yesterday, I was going through my comments on my YouTube channel and I came across a comment about a video that I did, uh, I'll say a few weeks ago, about a website that I was surprised that it was built using Divi. So let me just show you the website quickly. So this website is Ryko. So uh, basically, I was talking about how, this, how well designed this website is and how I like the way they did the images here on the hero area. So the question here was, or the comment was, Please, Mac, make a tutorial on how to design this. How to design this. So that's exactly what we'll be doing today. And our final design is going to look something like this. So basically, I got this image here from uh, Pixels, downloaded it, and did a bit of work in Photoshop. So I'll be showing you all those steps and how I ended up with this design. So in this tutorial, I'll be using Divi. And by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you my complete course, which teaches you how to design websites using Divi. So uh, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this. So the first thing you want to do is to download the image. So uh, as I mentioned, I went to a website called Pexels. So it's just pexels.com. And then I just searched for a watch and then just downloaded the image. So the specific one I downloaded was a Rolex. So in fact, it's, it's somewhere around here. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I went and opened it in Photoshop. So this is what it looks like. It's in Photoshop. Let me, in fact, let me just make this nice and big so you can see me doing the uh, edits. Okay, right. So this is the watch. So what we're gonna be doing is to just make sure that this image is ready for our website. So what I'm gonna do now is to first duplicate this layer. Just in case we make just in case we make some mistakes. So I'm gonna hit Command J. And then I'm going to select the brush tool. Now, what we're going to do here is to paint and just add black to this so that we basically make this uh, watch the focus of this design. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make sure that black is my foreground color over here. Okay, so then I'm gonna start painting. So I'm just, I just have my brush tool here. Then I'm just gonna make sure that I'm painting all the sides, making sure that my watch is the main focus here. All right, so now that I have this all in place, the next thing I need to do now is to just make sure that this is the right size. So I'm gonna come over here on the bottom layer, click this little icon here to add a new layer, and then in that layer, we're gonna cover it with black. So um, to make sure that it's it has a black background, you just wanna hit uh, option backspace or alt backspace. Right, so now I'm gonna go on the main image that I've been working on. Now, here's the thing. Now, this is very, very important because you wanna make sure that this image is more to the right side of your uh, design. The reason why is we are going to have text on the left side. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is to just uh, transform this. So I've hit Command T, that's the um, shortcut in Photoshop to transform. So Command T or Control T if you're on a PC, and then just drag one of these corners here like that, and then just reposition the watch. So I'm gonna make sure it's way closer here to the edge, and you can make this smaller as well if you want. So I think this is looking great, we have enough uh, space here on the left to add all our text. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to commit to that. And then next, we're just gonna save this image and then import it into Divi. Right, so once you're here, all you have to do now is to just make sure you choose the right dimensions here. And I'm gonna go with 1920. And then the height is automatically readjusted here. And then I'm just gonna say Rolex one, okay? Save this to a folder that you're gonna remember and then just go ahead and save. So now that we're here right from the beginning, all we have to do now is to start adding all our elements. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to click this plus button and add my column structure. So here I'm gonna add two equal columns. And then I'm just gonna start adding my uh, modules here. So I'm gonna start with my text module. So I'm gonna need a few of these. So I'm just gonna save the first one here and then just duplicate this three times. Right, now the next thing we're gonna do is to add our background image that we've just created in Photoshop. So I'm gonna click here on the, this gear icon, click on background, and then we're gonna come over here to the third tab. Now it's important you go to the third tab because this is what allows us to add our image. Okay, so I'm gonna click this plus button, upload files, select files. Now my image here is in my folder. I'm gonna double click on that. 
Okay, now it's being uploaded. So I'm gonna click here on upload an image. Right, so now we can see that our image has been added onto our background. Now it's time to continue with our design. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so now let's go in and customize our text. So over here, I'm just gonna click on this gear icon and then we're just gonna say just released. Okay, so that's our first uh, text we're gonna add. So we might as well go in and start customizing this. So as you can see in this background, it's, it's quite difficult to read this. So let's go and add the colors. So I'm just gonna make this uh, white. I'm gonna change my font here to Poppins, all caps. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger. So maybe about uh, 18 is cool. And then we're gonna come over here to letter spacing. I'm just gonna space this out to about eight pixels. So that's looking great. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we're gonna give the title of this watch. So I'm gonna click here, and this is going to be Rolex Deep Sea. Okay, so that's Rolex Deep Sea. I'm gonna highlight the text and make this heading. So I'm gonna say this is heading one. So that's looking great. Now I'm gonna go in and customize this text. So make sure you click on design, heading text. Now over here, let's change our text to Georgia. Okay, I'm gonna make it something, uh, something you know, slightly different here. Right. The next stage now is to add our color and uh, let's make our text slightly bigger. So we're gonna increase the size here. Right, so now that I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now let's add a bit of a description to um, this watch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open a new tab and just go to Lorem 2, because I prefer just using like dummy text. And then I'm just gonna copy this paragraph here and paste it here. Okay, so I'm gonna paste it. And then we're gonna customize this text as well. So we're gonna come over here to design text. We're gonna make this pop-ins and uh, we're gonna change the color. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now I'm gonna go in and add our call to action button. Now, every time you create your hero, uh, hero area of your website, you need to have a call to action. So our call to action here is going to be a button which tells uh, the visitor to your website to buy the watch. So I'm gonna search for my button module here. I'm gonna call this buy now. And then we're gonna go in and design it. So we're gonna click here on design button, activate use custom styles for button. So here we can choose what uh, color we're going to have for our button. So we can go with any color to be honest. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so our text is going to be white, but our background color here is going to be, let's go with this blue, okay? Just go with that. Right, so now that we have this, uh, the next thing I wanna do here is to just make sure our button radius is set to two, but it doesn't really matter. You can have this set to zero if you want. Uh, and then the font here is going to be Poppins as well. And we're going to reduce the size because the size of this button here is a bit too big. So let's come over here and uh, reduce it to about 18. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do now is to remove that white border, okay? So for our button border width, I'm gonna add the color there. So now you can see it's just you know slightly changed and that's looking good. All right, so um, what we wanna do here for the uh, font weight, let's make this semi-bold and uh, we might as well add some letter spacing. I think one is fine. Okay, so these are the little touches that you may want to do while you're designing your page because it just adds um, a bit more style or quality to your design. All right, so now that I'm done with this, the next stage now is to just make sure everything's in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the transform tool. So I'm just gonna make sure I move things uh, in the right place. So I'm gonna start with the button here. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to transform and then I'm gonna click them on the... Uh, on the move, the second tab. So I'm just gonna move this button slightly up like that, save that. Next, I'm gonna come over here to this text, the deep, uh, the Rolex Deep C. Click here on the gear icon. Again, I'm gonna click on design, transform. And then I'm gonna just move this down a little bit closer to the description text. Right, so finally, Let's go ahead and, and uh, move this text which says just released. I'm gonna click here on the gear icon as well, click on design. Then I'm gonna come over here to transform, click on the second tab, and then we can just move this around as you can see. So we don't want it too close, but uh, just about there. I mean, you can just eyeball this. It doesn't have to be 
you know, precise. So whatever looks great to the eye is what you go with. So what I'm going to do now is, um, in fact, I think I should change the color of this text because there's too much white there. So uh, I'm going to go into my text here. Okay, I'm going to change the color. I think that looks really nice, actually. Right, let's go in and just uh, change it a little bit. Okay, I think that looks that's looking great. All right, so now that I have this in place, it's time now to just finalize our hero area of our website. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in to my section settings, click on design, spacing, and this is where we're going to add the padding. Now, it's good. It's a good idea to add your padding both to the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to click here on this dial, and then I'm just going to keep dialing it until... I'm pretty much happy with my padding. So I'm going to go all the way to about 100. Okay, so that's looking great. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some margins to my row. Okay, so I'm going to click here on the row settings, design, spacing. And again, I'm going to activate my chain and just add some margins both to the top and the bottom, just like that. Right, so now we really have, we have a really nice looking um, hero area of our website. So pretty much I think this is quite close to what we have here on Ryko, although their product is slightly smaller, but pretty much this is how you do it. So whether you're using this on a slide or you're just creating the hero area, this is how you do it. And don't forget when you come over here to the button, you want to make sure that you add your button URL to make sure that it links to whatever page it is you want it to link to. Uh, obviously in this case, it will be the actual shop page where your visitors can buy the actual watch. Now, this technique can also be used in different scenarios. It doesn't have to be a product. It can be, it can be maybe an animal, and you're trying to uh, highlight, you know, or maybe showcase the uh, the head of the animal. And then this could be an invitation to a half price to the zoo or something like that. But this is how you highlight an image. Uh, but the work has to be done in Photoshop first, and then bring all your designs into Divi. All right, so pretty much that's all I have for you. If you uh, enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification to be notified every time I release new tutorials. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.